Hello everyone, we are Dr. Zia Tahir here. So this is part 2 of a video tutorial of vibration analysis of eye beam with different end condition. So in the part 1, I have explained all that process for uh, both fixed ports and now I am going to do both pin ports, one pin and one fixed port and one fixed and one free port. So these are uh, the steps which I have followed, I set units as Newton meter Pascal and then I set work directory, I saved model, I create a part, 3D deformable shell extrusion, then I created material by assigning density and modulus of elasticity Poisson's ratio, I created a section and I have, uh, it is a shell homogeneous and a thickness is equal to thickness of uh, web and flange and then assigned section then mesh to seed part global size 5 millimeter mesh part and then assign element type as 4R then I have created instance and then create step linear perturbation frequency and using even solver as length loss and even values requested are 15 so for fixed and condition the boundary conditions are taken as U1, U2, U3 all translational and non-rotational are zero and for pin and u1 and u2 equal to zero creating job and then visualization of the result to get first three more shapes and then a comparison with analytical result so now i am going to uh, analyze beam with both pin scores or pin pin condition so for pin pin condition u1 and u2 they need to set equal to 0 so for this purpose i have that already fixed fixed beam so i'm going to copy that model and that model is being copied here as that model is being copied here as pin pin model so in the pin pin model i need to go to boundary conditions and the boundary condition I need to set first u1 and u2 equal to 0 and then in the boundary condition 2 I need to set that both u1 and u2 equal to 0 and rest of everything will be remain same and then I create a job with the name as pin pin okay and then I am going to submit that and then that job is being completed i'm going to get the results for it so the results i am looking for only in transverse plane so that is the first mode in transverse plane so its frequency first mode is like which is required although that is the third mode so 20.662 20.701 so and that is the second mode which is required and then that is the third mode so analytical results of this i have taken it from here that is a pin pin sport and that is the frequency equation so these are the values of beta l and then that is for the more shape and then somewhere here is that is the uh, expression to get natural frequency so I have that pin pin sport here so pin pin sport as that is taken as simply sported beam so when one once I run that one so then I'll get first three more shapes so that is the solution of the frequency equation and then these are the beam properties and then these are the natural frequency 19.819179.276 and these are the first three uh, frequencies and then here is the comparison of results so analytical 19.819179178 uh, from the MATLAB these values and then from the Abacus 181 that is the third mode that is the second mode and that is the first mode and these mode shapes are also here 
to those three mode shapes and then for the first mode shape uh, so that curse computes that uh, natural frequency higher than the integral one so the first one uh, percentage difference 4.3 second one 3.2 and the third one is 1.6 now the third part one is pinned and one is fixed so when is one is pinned and one is fixed so here you have those so for the fixed one all translation and rotational displacement need to set to zero and for pin only u1 and u2 need to set to zero so now i have copied that fixed fixed beam as fixed pin beam and i have changed boundary condition the first one is a fixed that is a fixed and then the other one here is that is pin for u1 and u2 equal to zero and then i have created a job so that is a fixed pin and then these are the results okay and that is isometric view and that is the one which i'm looking for and then the first mode shape in uh, transverse plane that has 32.127 then the second mode shape it has 102.71 and then third mode shape it has 210.21 and for fixed uh, pin support so fixed pin support that is pin beta l minus pin hyperbolic beta l is the frequency equation and that is the solution of frequency equation mode shape and then the frequency so that is natural frequency and mode shape of fixed pin i beam so that is the frequency equation and then these are the beam properties to get the natural frequencies and then mode shape so i'm going to run that one so the solution of that frequency equation is 3.927 and 10.2 and that is 3.927.06 and 10.21 which is there and then these are the first three frequencies 32.9 100.332 0.9.33 and that is a comparison of result for pin fix so an integer result these are the integer results these are the numerical results from uh, ANSYS and then the percentage difference is 3.8 percent so a backers calculate natural frequency which is 3.8 percent higher than the analytical one and similarly for second mode is 2.4 percent higher and for the third one it is 0.4 percent higher so now the fourth part is one and is fixed and one and is free so when one and is free so no boundary condition required there so now i am going to copy again i have copied that fix fix beam copy model as here six three beam and that six three beam is also called as cantilever beam so in the in that case I have just deleted that boundary condition which was on the other end and on one end only I have these boundary condition fixed boundary condition and then I have created uh, a model here like a uh, job fix free and then here are the results for that fix free okay so now here that you can see that it is the first mode is in xz plane and then that is the second mode okay so second mode is in uh, yz plane which is 7.37 so that is the first mode which is required and then that is the second mode which is required in yz plane its frequency is 57.4 uh, uh, 799 and then with the third one its frequency is 126.40 okay, so these are uh, that uh, are more shapes and then associated natural frequency and here uh, in the book like here is a fixed free beam and that is uh, that one is its equation and then a frequency equation and that is the solution of frequency equation and here is the natural frequency and more shape of cantilever beam because fixed free beam is also called as cantilever beam so that is its frequency equation 
and then this is to get first three more shapes and the beam properties natural frequency to calculate and uh, and then more shapes so i'm going to run that one so here are uh, solution of frequency equation and first three roots are 1.87 4.69 and 7.8 so which are here for 3.9 7.0 and 10.2 Sorry, these are the values here 1.8, 4.6, and 7.8. So these values I have calculated, and then the natural frequency 7.0644 and 123. And that is third mode, it has 126. Another comparison of results an integral value uh, from theory using chapter 8 of this book. Okay. And using MATLAB, so 7.6, 44, 123. These are the values here. And these are the values from uh, Becker. And here you can see that the first more shape, percentage difference is 4.5. So Becker computed it as 4.5% high. The second one is 3.5. The third one is 2. So that is the solution of fourth part and this is how you can analyze a beam with different end conditions in abacus cae so the results of abacus they are slightly higher than uh, analytical results and there are few possible reasons because i have uh, one is i have modeled a beam as a shell so you can model that beam as solid or otherwise uh, by changing element size using a finer mesh the solution can converge and then otherwise using a different element type element shape so the solution may converge on that so thank you very much for watching